Good morning YouTube. What we have here today is a uh, stuck crankshaft uh, pulley nut on a old Mercedes engine. Now, if you're like me uh, and uh, you're not a professional mechanic, you're just somebody working out of their garage at home for fun as a hobby, uh, you may not have a super powerful uh, impact gun. The strongest impact gun that I've got uh, is, is this one over here which puts out at about uh, 230 foot-pounds. This nut is put on probably at around four or 500 foot-pounds. There's no way that I can break it with that simple impact gun. But today I'm gonna show you a trick uh, that I learned a long time ago from an old German mechanic in Springfield, Massachusetts on how to do this if you're on the farm or uh, you know in, in the suburb somewhere and you, uh, you gotta get this thing off and uh, you really have a few options. What we're going to use today is uh, is the breaker bar over here. Uh, now some people call it a cheater bar or breaker bar. And uh, this has a 27 millimeter uh, bolt that we're trying to break here. So this is a huge bolt. So you don't have to worry about uh, snapping off the, uh, the bolt head. There's no way we can break the bolt. Uh, but what we do have to do is we have to prevent the bolt from rotating. Because uh, as you want to turn it, it's going to turn it. So what I've done here is uh, I've wedged a uh, wrench uh, on the back side here. Now I've seen this done a number of different ways, so this isn't the only way to do it. You could uh, take a wrench like this and uh, bolt it on here and then jam it in between uh, two other bolts in order to keep it from moving. There, there's more than one way to skin that cat, but you've got to stop that thing from turning and that's the trick there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to Put the breaker bar on the front and I'm going to jump on it. Now you're probably saying okay well how is it that you're going to have more power than this impact gun over here? Well the breaker bar is about three feet long, well we'll say it's three feet long and uh, we're going to use uh, we're going to use the power of the uh, of leverage and uh, uh, foot pounds. So each foot of that breaker bar uh, is a multiplier, is a force multiplier. So when you jump on it, when you stand on it, now I weigh, uh, for my friends over there across the pond, uh, about 100 kilograms, so about 220 pounds. When I put that on there, you're multiplying that 220 pounds times the distance. So if that's three feet, that's 660 pounds of force that I'm gonna be placing on that breaker bar. Now, that 660 pounds is, is gonna be on the actual uh, nut. Now the nut's been put onto 400 and something pounds, so it's going to spin, it's going to come off. The trick is, it, is uh, you have to be very careful because the engine only weighs a few hundred pounds. Well, what's he talking about, you're saying? Okay, uh, there's enough force that I'm going to place on that nut to actually lift that engine off and spin the engine around. Well, wait a minute, is this guy Superman or something? He's going to lift the engine? No, I'm not Superman, I, I'm not very strong, I cannot lift that engine. However, uh, and again, this is just simple math. If I put 600 pounds of force on something that weighs 300 pounds, there's a good chance that I am going to be able uh, to, to twist this thing over due to all of the force that's being placed in that one point. So, uh, on the very side of the engine here uh, is where it's mounted to the engine, uh, is where it's mounted to the frame of the vehicle. I'm gonna step on that with one foot and then I'm gonna lean and place all of my force on the breaker bar that's going to be attached to the nut. I'm going to do that and with any luck whatsoever we're going to crack this nut. So I'm going to do that right now, let you watch. Uh, and by the way, remember folks, this is very dangerous. So, uh, you know, be careful because it's, it's dangerous. You can get hurt, you can be injured. Uh, now as you remember, this is, we're going to put the, the breaker bar also, we're going, to, we're going to aim it down low here. So when I jump on this, it's, uh, it's the bar is going to flex by the way, folks. So. It's going to flex, and uh, the trick is, you know, how much is it going to flex? It's going to flex so it hits the floor. It's going to flex so that it's, uh, uh, so that it doesn't spin it, that it doesn't crack the nut. Uh, I don't know, but I'm going to steady myself with, with, I've seen people do this where they climb on the engine. You could do that too, but again, if the engine starts to spin over, uh, you don't want to be under it as it comes over. Uh, you know, I'm going to jump on this. I'm jumping on this, I'm jumping on that. I've got it. All right, put a tremendous amount of force on that. 
and it did it. I don't know how it did it, but it did it. And I am. Uh, maybe it didn't do it, maybe it popped it off. Let me try it again. Okay, I'm putting all my weight on this. And I've broken it. I've broken the, 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 the friction out of that. Now I can take this off. Worked up a sweat on that. I'm going to show you the bolt. See if we can get a shot of the bolt. Okay, focus on this. There you go. Uh, now, as you can see by this bolt, this, this, this thing is huge, it's massive. Uh, now, I soaked it overnight in, uh, in a penetrating oil. I, I, I tend to use this penetrating oil over here. Uh, it, some, some professional uh, mechanics laugh and go, it's a waste of time. Other ones say, yeah, you should do it. So, uh, I, I don't know, I'm not a professional mechanic in any way, shape, or form. I'm just a guy here, you know, doing this every, every so often. Now, hopefully, I'll never have to do this job again. Uh, if you can't do it the way that I did it, go make friends with uh, the shop down the street or wherever and borrow a mechanic. Get, get, get your hands on a real uh, torque gun, like a snap-on or something that has about 600 foot-pounds, uh, and they could break this because otherwise this is never going to come off, ever. Uh, well, you know, you could go out and buy a snap-on, but that's, you know, four or five hundred bucks, maybe six hundred bucks. I don't know what these things cost today, but they're a fortune. Uh, but that's the only way that you're ever going to get this thing apart. So you can use my method. Maybe it'll work for you. Maybe it won't. I don't know. Uh, again, be very careful because you can flip this. This engine will rotate over uh, and land on you, which is a bad thing. Uh, why? Because it's very, very heavy. You know, a few hundred pounds landing on you could, could, could hurt and or kill you. So again, exercise extreme caution. Uh, I hope uh, this video helps you out, and uh, stay safe folks.